Frequent yawning is when person yawns more than 10 times per day. It affects around 25% of general population. In reality almost 80% of yawning is caused by tiredness and boredom. The body tries to cool down brain and provide more oxygen, that's the explanation of yawning, when we inhale cold air it cools down blood, and exhale warm air helps brain thermal regulation. Also, yawning causes release of dopamine, neurotransmitter which is responsible on motivation and alertness. Second most common cause of frequent yawning is sleep disorders. In around 10% of cases. When we say sleep disorders usually mean, sleep apnea, insomnia and restless leg syndrome. During sleep apnea person repeatedly stops and starts breathing during sleep. Such people experience fragmented, non-restorative sleep, leading to daytime tiredness, and resulted frequent yawning. Same mechanism applies to insomnia, which means poor sleep quality or difficulty falling asleep. Third most common cause of frequent yawning is medications. Especially selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors such as fluoxetin. It happens because the brainstem which is responsible on yawning reflex, it is also rich on serotonin producing neurons. And when serotonin level increases it stimulates yawning. Fourth common cause of yawning is brainstem injury. Most common example of brainstem injury which causes frequent yawning is migraines, a type of headache which causes intense throbbing or pulsating pain on one side of the head. Migraine is related interaction between brainstem and trigeminal nerve, trigeminal nerve can spread inflammation and stimulate brainstem and causes frequent yawning, which precedes headache attacks. Also, we should mention multiple sclerosis, which is rare disease but it causes frequent yawning when immune system attacks central nervous system, especially brainstem. Stress, anxiety, and depression, which make up another 5%, can lead to frequent yawning. However, it's often an indirect result due to tiredness and poor sleep quality. Hypoxia or breathing difficulties account for 2%. Conditions resulting in reduced blood oxygen levels, like chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, COPT, asthma, or high altitudes, might induce yawning as the body tries to intake more oxygen. In these conditions, the body may instinctively yawn to draw in more oxygen. Lastly, the sensation of wanting to yawn but being unable to do so is called an inhibited or stifled yawn. This can be frustrating. The most common cause of this sensation is stress or anxiety. Breathing patterns, especially during anxiety or panic attacks, can induce this sensation. Sometimes, it might have a psychological basis without a clear physiological explanation.